Okay, Gora, you are no stranger to the stage, but you have waited 14 months to get back in the ring. And unfortunately, you won't even be able to face off because Jesse Magdaleno will not be showing up. Oh, really? Hi. Yeah. Oh, no, he will be fighting, but he's not going to be here right now oh. to do a face off. Oh, I okay. Did, I didn't scare you, I did. I? <laughs> I was like, oh, no, <laughs> not again. How do you feel right now? Man, I feel great. I can't wait to put on the show for all the uh, Mexican fans. Uh, I know that atmosphere is going to be insane at the T-Mobile Arena. I just can't wait. It's been so long since I fought, and I just can't wait to give you guys a, a great show. You talked about that many people think you're just a one-trick pony, that you're just going to come and brawl, but you've said it to a lot of us that you have many tools in your arsenal. You're a switch hitter. You're going to box. You're going to brawl. You're going to do all sorts of things that Jesse Magdaleno will have trouble with. Am I right? Of course. You know, I, be, I have a very unique style, a unique style that the fans love. Uh, I'm a fan of friendly fighter. Um, everyone knows that you come to Pacey, Ben Figueroa, you know, you're going to get action, all action, all war. So no reverse, baby. You know, we, we come here to fight. We come here to give a great show. And I just can't, I just can't wait. If you retain your interim WBC strap, I know you've been waiting for Ray Vargas, the full champ. If you were to win, is that the fight you would like next, or would you like a rematch with maybe Fulton or anyone else in the division? I mean, I'm here to fight whoever, but most importantly, I want to fight for the belts. And then if Rey Vargas isn't available, then let's get the rematch. I'm here to make big, uh, amazing fights, fight of the year candidates, and I'm here to fight, baby, so let's go. Jesse Magdaleno is a very crafty southpaw. He's also a former world champion. He's just as hungry as you are because he's looking to take that interim strap because he wants to get in contention mode. Since he didn't show up today, tell him right now, because I know he's watching, give him your message for fight night. I mean, just come ready. You know, everyone knows that I train 110%. I'm an all action, a volume puncher, and I, I just kind of fight. I just can't wait to let my hands go. It's been so long. You know, my knuckles have been itching to get in the ring, and then the great opportunity, kind of on the card. Uh, Mexican fan base, Cinco de Mayo weekend, baby. I mean, I'm just ready to go, so ready. Lastly, got to ask you, Canelo versus Monguilla, your final prediction. I mean, the fans are going to win this one for sure. You know, they're both Mexican fighters. They're both going to leave it on the ring. Everyone knows that Canelo never, never disappoints. Monguilla comes to fight as well. He's hungry. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an amazing main event, amazing card all around. The fans are going to win, but I'm going to have to go with uh, Canelo. Uh, do you have, do you speak Espanol? Okay, tell them why they need to order the pay-per-view. Uh, it's May 4th for you guys to tune in. No, sí, claro. Um, ese es uh, ese 4 de mayo, sábado, va a haber puros cohetes, pura guerra, mexicano contra mexicano. Uh, yo creo que en esta batalla van a ganar los mexicanos. Team Oberino, no se lo pierdan. Uh, va a ser una cartelera muy grande, muy bonita. Y que los fans van a ganar esta noche. All right, best of luck to you. Brandon Figueroa, the Heartbreaker. Stay there, take pictures.